What's up YouTube? Here again with another YouTube video and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 best late winter to that early pre-spawn and that mid pre-spawn stage before they move up to the spawn, spawning stage. So, uh, my top number one uh, bass lure to use from that late winter to that early pre-spawn and even throughout the whole spawn pretty much it's just a crankbait this one here is a kvd uh strike king uh 1.5 flat sided crankbait so so you see that flat back compared to uh say a regular crankbait let's just grab this one like a regular square bill or medium diver okay so this one's a flat and also you know most of these crankbaits got hard loud rattles And in this one, I like to use silent. When it's real cold in that late winter, even to that early pre-spawn, it's real cold, water temps in the high 40s, low 40s. And right there when that, that early pre-spawn is in like just over 50, I'm telling you, this flat-sided silent, see, no rattles in it. Silent as it could be. You get a lot more strikes. Sometimes they don't want that rattle, that loud, hard knocking. Sometimes they want that silent. If you get them on that silent bite, you slam. So it's a good, good uh, crankbait. Or even also, you could just use a square bill too. If they if they don't want the silent, say for these two, you got these uh, little square bills right here these two right here um you know if you want to fish up shallow so, uh say like for the pre-spawn when the bass start moving up to that one foot to like eight feet range uh if you want to throw up shallow you can use that little baby crankbait i just showed you um with some rattles okay whatever if they want the rattles or if they don't want the rattles you got a selection there um those are two really good baits, and also, like I was just showing you, all three of them baits, they're, uh, that craw color, that bright red pattern. Something about that bright red pattern, they just, they just love that color. Sometimes you can't, I can't, sometimes I can't even get them by on the shad color. Some days I can just go out there and throw the red craw, and that's the only thing to bite. Even in soft plastics, red, uh, like red bug, red craw, anything red, like the uh, red craw crankbait, anything like that is really good. So, let's move into number two. Number two for the list here is a jerk bait. Okay, this is like a little uh, junior sized uh, jerk bait right here. Okay, this one right here. Uh, this was a bluegill color with uh, a chartreuse uh, in. Um, this jerk bait is really good for that late winter especially in that transition to that pre-spawn and the jerk bait is really good throughout the whole spawn even the post or mid spawn when them um, them big bass move out you know the the spawners come out um, and they hang around like the rip rap and uh, points the rocky points the dam anything like that and the, it's if, especially if it's cold uh, a jerk bait like this will get them bite, and especially when you're fishing up shallow, say like docks or or like a rocky flat or anything like a point. Uh, especially in the spawn, this is a good spawn bait too. Throughout the whole spawn and even through the whole winter, uh, jerk bait is really good. So this one is a bluegill. So if they're up there and say in the spawn, even in the pre-spawn, this bluegill. Um, it's really good and like y'all know that uh, bass don't like the bluegill during spawn because the bluegill they uh they eat their eggs so that color is really good or you can use a shad type color jerk bait uh any color like that their jerk jerk baits are really good um anything really massive hatch uh, if you have like gizzard shad and you want that darker kind of 
like this color you want that darker shag color if you have thread fin you want more of that pearl uh, white color so these are really good especially when the water is cold um, even even throughout the whole season it's really good and um you know throw this off rip rock rip wrap excuse me and uh, dams and even off the brush like staining timber if you throw it out there it's a uh, it's a good uh, bait so move number three so number three these top three is gonna be moving baits and then the rest we're gonna have a little bit more so probably about six so uh, categories so instead of five so this one you can't go wrong with a uh, a spinner bait even a chatterbait the they both work really good so this one's a you know the craw bluegill type color um, for some reason they love that uh, crop pattern they just feed up on those craws on um, in that winter time depending on your uh, lakes or ponds or any body of water you have but I noticed that they work really good on um, in that muddy water too like I was saying uh, like these chatterbaits and these spinnerbaits especially if like y'all up north when the ice melts from the, the lakes when it freezes and you get that runoff and the, the lakes get muddy and everything even that uh, spring rain and all that spinnerbait anything that uh, get their attention with these uh, willow blade willow blades excuse me uh, is really good so that or a chatterbait um, you can start with the uh, with the craw move from that late winter you know winter to that like when winter's finna be over you can stop using this craw but in the winter this craw color is a good uh, spinnerbait chatterbait color in the pre-spawn you can move more to that bluegill color like I was saying just like this uh, jerk bait you can move more to a bluegill and then in the post spawn you can move more to the shad and um, also you can use shad color or craw both of them work really good uh, the shad works really good right when the early pre-spawn hits like you gotta find that, that two week range where it's that late winter to that pre-spawn pattern and you throw this, any shad color either from the crankbaits or spinner baits where all them bass are feeding up shallow in that 15 foot range, 20 foot range, um, depending on your lake. Uh, those three moving baits are killers in this transition. So now let's move to the next three. Um, now this is gonna be bottom baits. So let's get into the number four, I believe. So number four is gonna be a uh, a jig. So whether this is a uh, a finesse jig I love finesse jigs that's a uh, it just works something about that small profile works in the uh, pre-spawn stage a lot so this is a uh, peanut butter J uh, jerk bait and uh, I'll leave this all in the link below to f all these baits where you can find them at and everything and um when this when this is going along the bottom this flat sided uh head uh lays like that on the bottom and and them craws it just float up and just gets right in the bass's face and it's killer bait okay so you can use a finesse jig like this flat sided or what else works really good is uh say a, a football jig okay football headed jig this one's a a casting one okay these work pretty good but what I like is these football headed jigs these football headed jigs work really good bringing them out through the through the timber if you're if you're fishing like a lake say like Lake Fork or any lake like that has a whole bunch of trees or stumps or anything like that that football jig that football head jig will bring it through the uh, brush real good but like I said with the flat headed uh, style jig uh, I like it real good on like sandy bottoms or even with like rocks or anything like that or if, like you cast it up on the boat ramp and you bring it off the boat ramp that's really good that, that uh, jig head or excuse me that yeah that jig will work really good with that style with that uh, flat bottom um, head so 
those are really good. Uh, I like to use like watermelon red, uh, green, yeah, green pumpkin, and sometimes that peanut butter J color. But that watermelon red and that green pumpkin, you can't go wrong with it. And um, they're just killers during this time. Number five is gonna be a uh, if it's tough out there, say in that late winter, sometimes it can be tough. And so that number five bait is gonna be it's gonna be a Senko, okay? So this one right here is a uh, a yum a yum dinger, okay? This is the five inch. I like to hook this up a uh, Texas rig, so you can use it up a uh, Texas rig, weightless Texas rig. We can throw it on like a shaky head or anything like that. Uh, that Senko is gonna be really nice when it's really tough. I just throw that. And then I throw this other bait, but I'll show y'all in a second. And uh, when it gets really tough and especially cold, sometimes you gotta go finesse on them. And so that like not a lot of pinches and everything. Sometimes they want that subtle, barely moving bait. Sometimes that's what they want and it works. And so that next bait, what I was talking about, is a trick worm, okay? So this is a uh, zoom trick worm. Make sure y'all see that. Okay, this is about probably like a seven inch. I don't know like what, how long the worm is. But I just know this thing catches it, catches them. Okay. Um, when it's really tough, I don't matter. It don't matter the season, but it works really good in that pre-spawn. Even in the summer. I know it's not even a summer video, but the summer when it's tough. Or if you just want them easy bites, a trick worm, a finesse trick worm is fantastic. Rig this up on a 316 ounce uh, shaky head. I like the owner shaky head. I'll pop up an image right here. That's what uh, the shaky head looks like. You can go from the lead or like a matte black or a black uh, finish on the head. But a 316 maybe a 1 8 depending on the wind and uh it just depends on how what the wind is or anything like that but i like to go with the 316 ounce shake your head but these trick worms are so good uh and then if you need to really really dumb it down for the bass you go this is a smaller version of that trick worm it's just a finesse uh, little trick worm from zoom like I said everything will be linked down below these baits are just really good for them and uh, like these little bait this little bait right here I like to uh, actually put on like a little 2 aught with like a mostly a 1 8 ounce uh, weight or if it's a little windy, a 3 uh Texas rig, those that works really good. Or a 1 8 uh, shaky head. Now that's been a killer for me in the past. Uh, for finesse fishing and the pre-spawn. They worked really good in the pre-spawn. Sometimes in that late winter. But if you, uh, if you find anything with rocks, uh, a point, a... Uh, a drop off anything like that even off like the dam off the rip wrap anything that holds warmth is really good for basically any of these baits but more of that shaky head that trick worm that finesse worm with like the Senko and the trick worm uh, anything like that it's really good and then anything you find warmth in the winter like a boat ramp or uh, rocks or like a point or anything that holds warmth like a rocks or concrete something like that even like dark uh like docks like the dock poles that's metal that holds warmth conducts heat it's really good and uh the next bait so the last category okay is creature baits okay so this one right here is a uh, a zoom brush hog this one's watermelon red i like to dye the tips on these uh chartreuse okay that works really good uh especially in the spawn the zoom are killers these zoom uh, brush hogs they are killers if i had one bait out of all these 
it would be the brush hog. If even like my all time favorite is the brush hog. And then the next one, talking about creature baits, is gonna be a uh, a craw. So these craws right here are really good. These are the regular size craws. Okay. I like to throw the craws uh, in the pre-spawn and the spawn. Th throughout the whole spawn, these craws are really, really good. Um, like I said, like the natural colors, for me, do really good. Like the Walmart Reds, Green Pumpkins, uh, like even like uh, black and blue works good, depending on the water color. But dumb two colors, and then if the water is dirty, the black and blue is amazing and uh, even in a spawn when you bed fishing sometimes I like to go up to the white to uh, so I could like visual see like the crawl and if the bass see it and you see the white and you know that the fish has it but sometimes like the natural colors like the watermelon red and the uh, uh, the cross sometimes it gets kind of hard when you visually uh, bed fishing in the spawn but sometimes I like to go with that white or maybe even like pink, like that bubblegum flavor that Zoom makes, um, anything like that. And then the last and final category is, uh, is a swim bait. So like this, you could, uh, with the Ray swimmer or a saucy swimmer or, uh, or, uh, or a Kai Tech. Dumb, dumb baits are really good. For the for that spawn and then that pre-spawn, anytime in the spring works really good. Say like you're in the mouth of a creek or you're going up through the creek or a slough or a cove or anything like that. Throw it in the mouth of that in the middle. You can uh, just fish faster with it and then them bass, especially when they move. Like I said, that two-week period. Uh, most of the times it's two-week period um, from that late late winter to that early early pre-spawn that two week period is really good because of feeding up on the shad the bluegill they try and get fat especially the females before they lay up uh on the beds and to uh do the thing but like i said a uh like a saucy swimmer or a tie tag gray swimmer anything like that with the bootleg on it uh is really good is really good and then the last thing with the swim baits is a uh, bluegill swim bait anything that mimics a bluegill this is more of like a like a spawn like if you see uh, a bed and um and you know like I said the bluegills don't like it the bluegill eats the bass's eggs that's why the bass are on the beds y'all know that so if y'all flip that up there on the beds bring that back uh it just makes them mad they just can't stay in like a bluegill uh next to the bed so anything that mimics a bluegill like uh you throw know, like that like the ray swimmer in the bluegill colors that the shad color has where you throw that bluegill uh swim bait it's uh it's good so i hope y'all like the video that's gonna conclude the video i hope it's uh helpful for y'all if y'all like the video Hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more. So, see y'all next time.